everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a sec, I won't lie, it's been a sec since I've sat down and recorded um, a video for you guys, so um, yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit. But I am doing a sketch with me video today, but with a little bit of a twist. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me your assumptions of me uh, on Instagram, and um, I say a few weeks, it was like two months ago. Again, I'm sorry, <laughs> but finally I'm here. I'm gonna tell you guys how accurate you were with your assumptions of me and also uh, draw some stuff out. So let's do it. So got my sketchbook out. Uh, currently I am using the um, my, my sketchbook that I got from Tricky Wagon. Um, it's very beautiful. It's got her art on it and it's just gorgeous. If you saw my last sketchbook tour and breaking into my new sketchbook video, I talk all about it, so yeah there we go so first assumption from you guys is you would have 50 dogs if you could that is as as correct as anything could ever be yes i would easily have 50 dogs if i could second one. Oh wait i should actually be drawing oh, shoot <laughs> so um just gonna start off with like a face or something um So yeah, you're a hipster and only order skinny lattes with sugar-free caramel, dolce, and light cinnamon. Well, considering I, 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 I don't know what half those words mean, that's incorrect. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm a hipster, I think I'm very boring. I always order the same thing at any coffee shop. It's either a cappuccino or a cup of tea. Let's get some drawing in before I completely forget that this is a drawing video and channel okay what's the next one you love being there for people oh that one's really sweet and uh, yeah I do actually that is very correct um, I, I do love uh, being there for my friends and my family I feel like everyone does I guess but um probably not on the unhealthy level that I that I do <laughs> So I have this like weird, not weird, but this um, psychological thing where I feel like I have to fix everyone's problems and, and be there for everyone. And then I forget to be there for myself. And it's a whole thing. I'm working on it. I know. But uh, yeah, it's always good to be there for people. Just don't forget to be there for yourself. You prefer coffee more than tea. Now, this one's a very controversial one for myself because I love both coffee and tea on such an equal level, but for different reasons. So I really love tea for, you know, relaxing and while I'm working, but I don't think I could go a day without like having a cup of coffee in the morning. Like it really just m messes with my day if I start my day off without having like a cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know. I, I just really love both. But for different occasions, you know what I mean? Like, I do love me a good cup of tea, but I just can't, I don't think I can have tea with breakfast, you know what I mean? Like, different things, different strokes for different folks, you know what I mean? So, next one, you curse a lot. Um, I curse more in real life than I do in my videos, obviously. I barely curse in my videos just because, um, monetization. So, uh, yeah, I do curse a lot in my daily life, but, like, I don't think it's more than average. Um, I know this is a very basic, like, face, but it's just, like, a warm-up sketch because I, ha I haven't been sketching in the past week, like, almost at all because, um, uni started again. I sketched so much while I was home, like, all of these were while I was uh, at home for Christmas and it was so amazing just sketching so much but um I haven't really been doing much sketching since I got back to uni so um I feel like I've again gone a little rusty so I'm just drawing a very simple face before I um try and do anything I'm just trying to you know warm up I'm trying to warm up a lot more um I've never used to warm up at all um and I kind of noticed how that affected my drawing and how how much uh, art block I used to go through I'm currently going through art block right now so I've just been like struggling with like coming up with new original ideas and stuff but sketching is always um so good for that kind of stuff because it's like my my relaxation exercise I guess 
is sketching so sketching just kind of gets our block out of the way for me sometimes I'm so bad at multitasking I'm so sorry guys <laughs> I'm either drawing and putting all of my focus in the drawing or I'm just answering all the questions so I'm just gonna have a wee braid I'm just gonna have like a Katniss Everdeen braid god who remembers when everyone was doing their hair like Katniss Everdeen like the braid that starts on one side and it goes around your head. I remember at school, everyone had their hair like that. Um, during that time, oh my god, it was every single one of my friends had that. And I, I didn't because I couldn't physically put my hair in such complicated um, hairstyles, especially at the time. My hair was like super thick and intense. Um, so, okay. Next assumption, uh, you prefer pastel colors over bold. That is very true and I've been trying to like change that a little bit because I, I've i been trying to use a lot more bolder colors. Um, Devin has been like inspiring me to use more bold colors because I'm very scared of bold colors. Um, don't know why, I just am. I always opt for the same sort of color palette and the same sort of values in my drawing for some reason I just I guess I just go for what I'm comfortable with um, but I have been trying to use a little bit more of a bold color choice in my drawings um, I do prefer in like everything else I do prefer pastel colors like I just love a good pastel you know what I mean like mm. you give the vibe that you have your crap together but I assume you are low-key chaotic lol smiley face yes uh, this is very correct. I, I feel like even with people that I know in life, they always think that I've got my shit together because I'm really organized and I get stuff done. But uh, that does not equal having your shit together. That just means that I'm an organized person and I have anxiety, so I get stuff done to lesser the anxiety. Does that make sense? It does not mean I have my shit together. Um, it actually, it, it, it really, it, it almost equals not having your shit together because it means you have um, a lot of anxiety. And I do. I'm a millennial, I think. So it's not my fault, okay? I just, that's just how it be. I'm the kind of person that still writes lol at the end of every serious text. So I'm trying to figure out what to draw, by the way. I'm just like so uninspired recently. Probably because I'm tired. I'm gonna draw some cats, you guys. Like, let's just draw some, some good boys, you know? Just draw a cat over here. Uh, I just, I really been into um, like drawing sphinx cats because um, they, they're really helping me with like figuring out the figure of cats. Cause you know how if you draw like a really fluffy cat, it like all of the actual figure of it gets masked by how fluffy they are. And how beautiful they are but um sphinx cats don't have that problem because they are naked so it's really good to if you're trying to like figure out how to draw cats which i am because i love cats but i realize i never draw them and also i need to figure out how cats move for my the, the final film that i'm working on for uni because there's a cat in it so if you guys want to see all the reference pictures and stuff that i use um they're all on my um on my Pinterest, I have a board called Good Boys. And also Sphinx cats have like really beautiful, like huge ears. They're probably the same size as normal cats, but because their bodies are so small and compact because they're naked, as I've said before, the ears look so much bigger. And for some reason, like I just love that on cats. Next one is you're super cheerful when you're around your friends and family. Uh, I try to. Um, I feel like I'm more cheerful when I'm around strangers because I feel like around my friends and family I can be more myself. I can be more like myself, which isn't always cheerful, as you would, you know, assume. I, I do have like rundown moments where I'm like, oh, I just want to like complain for a while and have people complain with me and shit. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm always like cheerful. I'm just a, like a cheerful person. Um, I like cracking jokes and making people laugh. Um, next one is, my assumption is that you like to draw more female faces and feminine concepts. Love the videos. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't know why you would get that from my, from my drawings. Female concepts. I don't, don't know where you would get that idea from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is correct. I do love drawing a good, a good gal. 
um, a good female concept. But I have been trying to draw a lot more uh, guys recently. Um, that's like one of my biggest uh, like goals for this year is to draw more more men and study their form, I guess. But I, I just, I just, I don't know. It's like my default. You know how everyone's got a default? Well, my default is ladies. I don't know. Don't know why. Just, um, it's just what I do. It's what I prefer. Again, that's another thing that's really good to practice when you're drawing Sphinx cats is like wrinkles and like fabric, uh, and how fabric moves not fabric i know it's not fabric it's skin but it's like good practice for when you're drawing clothes it's like seeing how wrinkles work and and whatever um just sphinx cats are just like all around good you know like so that's a sphinx cat she's beautiful um and i'm gonna maybe draw something else what should i draw next i'm really in the mood to draw like animals for some reason right now i've also been in a very big like um doberman uh like phase i've just been drawing a lot of dobermans for some reason but dobermans are really beautiful dogs winter over summer a hundred percent i do prefer winter over summer uh like a million times i just love being cozy you can always put on more clothes you can't take off your skin uh, even though sometimes it would really come in handy taking off your skin, you know, and you can't walk around naked But you can walk around with seven jackets. So uh, next one. You do not like Devon. <gasps> oh my god um, As much as I want to say that that's true and mess with Devon. That's not true. I do really like Devon Our friendship is not uh, constructed for social media. It's crazy. No, we actually do really like each other. We're very good friends and uh, we live together, so it'd be kind of awkward if we didn't like each other, because we do have to see each other every day. Yeah, we do have a podcast together as well, so I don't think you you would um, have that many projects with someone that you hate. If you haven't heard our podcast, you should. Um, it's at Binge Inking. I'll leave the links. The links are always actually down there in the description. It's about art, kind of, sometimes. So if you want to check it out, please do. All right, I'm going to start drawing a little Doberman over here. Um, he's a little snoot. Uh, actually, no, it's too high up. I'm gonna snoot over here, and uh, yeah, that's his head, and that's his snoot. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> See, this is why like practicing drawing animals that you probably wouldn't um, usually is really good because you're forced to like uh, figure out the building blocks of what it what it is that you're drawing. Or at least I do, because my, my default when I don't know, when I'm drawing something I've never drawn before, is like figuring out the building blocks of it, so I get the basic shape of it right, and um, and that's kind of uh, the best way to figure the proportions of something, um, is to just block it out. Um, Um, next assumption is you don't like every type of sweets. Um, I don't like many types of sweets, actually. I'm not a sweets kind of person or a chocolates kind of person. Um, I'm more into savory things. I get very sickly very easily eating, um, sweets and chocolates, so I just don't really. Um, I am very, like, into savory and, like, salty things, though, so that's a good old, like, mini pretzels. Oh, yeah. Um, I love olives. I will snack on olives until they all disappear. Good boys. This is such a good boy that I'm drawing. I just also really love the colors of Dobermans, like the whole orangey and black vibe. I I even cosplaying as a Doberman today, you guys.
I think I gave it too long of a neck, actually, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. Okay. I went a bit crazy with the collar. Whoops. She's gonna have a wee heart on her collar. Okay. Next assumption. Parece que és un poco trapalhona. Será? Uh, yeah, this one's in Portuguese. I'll translate. It, it says, um, I assume that you're a bit uh, clumsy, which is very true. I'm very clumsy. Uh, just by nature. Just am very clumsy. I, I, I injure myself a lot accidentally. Uh, so that's a thing. I forgot that I saved all these really cute pictures of bunnies <laughs> in my thing. So I'm going to draw a cute bunny right now. I'm on an animal spree and that's very rare. So I'm going to write it out, you know? Okay. I feel like you played violin when younger. That is very true. I played the violin for a few years. Um, I think it was like four years I played the violin for. But now I appreciate the art and how like fun it actually was to play the violin. And I'd like love to um, get back into it. But um, money and time, you know? I never really like had a bunny. And I never really had many interactions with bunnies either. I think I've never like met one bunny once this bunny looks really mischievous i kind of want to give it like a hat or something <laughs> i don't know if, if that's okay i, I really want to just give it a hat oh this is a cool bunny now Next one. You're not religious, but you believe in spirits. I don't know how to answer that one. Um, no, I'm not religious um, by any means. I don't really know what I do believe in and what I don't believe in. Um, I like to think that I believe in spirits and like, you know, ghosts and stuff, but I don't think I do. I think I, I believe more in the, um, in the I wish they were real kind of sense rather than I actually believe they're there. Yeah, I've never really been very spiritual or anything, um, but um, the only time I've ever felt like anything weird and spiritual out of the ordinary is when I, I was in like a few really incredible churches, like really old churches and like basilicas and stuff like that in Italy with my mom last summer. And there was just a weird energy in the room. Like I definitely believe in energies because... I've felt them, so I must believe in them. And uh, also visiting my grandpa's grave. I have, I've never really um, visited anyone's grave that like I, I loved before. And when I, whenever I've visited his grave, I always felt like this really weird sense of calm, which is which is exactly how my grandpa was. He was just like the most chill man. But um, I kind of believe in that, I guess, just because I've I've experienced it, so um, gotta believe in it, you know. Quando estás com sono, trocas o inglês e o português, um, which means when you're tired, you switch uh, your English and your Portuguese. You like uh, switch them out. Yeah, I do. I used to do that a lot in foundation year when um, it was my first year living abroad. And uh, whenever I like drank or anything or whenever I was really tired, I would just slip into Portuguese without noticing and people would be like, uh, by the way, you're speaking in Portuguese. I don't understand what you're saying. Not even sometimes, but whenever I go home for holidays, when I come back, every time without fail, it takes me like two weeks to like readjust my brain. Like the first day that I got back this time from Christmas, I was home for like three weeks. So I was super, you know, my brain was super conditioned to speaking uh, Portuguese. So when I got back, I was just, I would just like accidentally like start talking to my housemates in Portuguese. I'm like, I... I meant to say that in English, sorry, uh, one sec. <laughs> uh, I know for a fact that this one comes from Devon, because I remember sending this. Um, you're gay. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You are a perfectionist. Correct. Um, I've been trying to be less of a perfectionist in recent, in recent times, just because I am... Um, it's just very exhausting. <laughs> and trying to like embrace, you know, when things go wrong. 
it's not a very easy thing to like, you know, make your brain rewire everything that it's used to. And now, just because I said earlier that I'm trying to draw boys, I'm going to draw a boy. <laughs> it's like when uh, when your teacher's watching, so you you do the work because you know they're watching. That's me right now. Just because you guys are watching, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I've been drawing boys a lot, especially right now. Have you seen the boy I'm drawing? Like, wow. Um, next one. You're a Virgo. Actually, no, I'm a Leo. Uh, next one. You can sing very well. No man emoji. Don't know what that means, but uh, um, I, I don't. I don't think I sing badly, but I also don't sing very well. I just don't really sing in front of people. Just alone, and in the shower. You are the mom of the friend group, right? So when you guys sent this in the other day, I. I, I put this up to the forums, AKA my house. Um, and we had this whole discussion about it and it was really funny because we realized that we were, were each like the mom of the group in different situations. So there's no one that's actually the mom of the group all the time. Uh, it really just, it depends on the, the situation that we're in. So like, I feel like I'm the mom of the group when it comes to like life things and just like when we're traveling, I'm kind of the mom of the group kind of. Um, but I'm very, I'm not usually the mom of the group. I'm probably the least amount mom of the group. Uh, you had slash have good grades. Yeah, I've also, I've, I've actually always been a, like a straight A student, like really good grades. Um, I don't know if you have already talked about it, but you look like a Zelda obsessed. Okay, this is a good one because I've actually never played a Zelda game until a few months ago. I got Breath, uh, Link's Awakening for the first time on the Switch and I, I finished it already. It's incredible so good and then i got breath of the wild and now that's what i've been obsessed with uh, recently so yeah i'm not zelda obsessed so to say because i only just got into zelda but it is great and um my housemate hannah she is she loves zelda she, like she's always been obsessed with zelda so she's just like yes finally next one i feel like you would have a billion plant children that are all named right here's the thing if I was able to keep them alive, I would have a billion plant children, but they keep dying on me. So, um, no, but if I, if I did, if I was a better plant mom, yeah, but I do name all of my plants. So that part is correct. Uh, back home in Portugal, I have a plant called Mike and a plant with my sister uh, and it's called McDano, which is a ship name between, um, the two main characters of Hawaii Five-O because it's kind of gay. <laughs> And uh, I used to have um, like a thing where I named all of my um, basil plants that they, they kept dying. So I kept getting new ones. And every time I just called them uh, Jeremy version number. So I went up to like Jeremy, like version 30.2 or something. And um, I've now stopped. I've just now stopped getting basil plants because I was just so sick of them dying. So yeah, I used to just name all my plants Jeremy for a while. It was a whole phase. You have a secret boyfriend or girlfriend that you don't want to show us. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay, next one. You have at least one brother. I have a stepbrother. I consider him um, a brother, not a stepbrother, but I do have a brother. <laughs> um, but I have two sisters. You love anime and manga. Mm, not all that much. I used to love anime when I was a child because it's all that was on TV all the time. Um, so I did used to love anime a lot. But now, uh, like as an adult, I don't really watch anime that much for some reason. I do love Oran High School Host Club a lot. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm not really uh, an anime person. But if it's like an anime of something that I watched as a child, I am so down. Like Sailor Moon, Doremi, Doraemon. I am. You're a very organized person and a perfectionist. You freak out if something's not planned. Yeah, I'm very organized. Um, and the perfectionist thing we've already talked about. And uh, I do like full on, I will have a panic attack if something is like not planned and I don't plan it out. And I don't know, I did that. that's like the main source of my freakouts is like unplanned and unforeseen things. So yeah, that's very correct. I actually showed this one to Hannah uh, a few weeks ago when I saw it and she just like laughed. She was like, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and that was the last one, you guys. Oh my God, we burned through those, um, which is great because I pretty much um, filled in this whole page. 
while we did that. Um, so yeah, while I'm just finishing out the sketch, I do want to talk to you guys about um, the channel. I said I was going to talk about this in a bit, so um, here it is. I am um, this year, the our Lord and Savior 2020. I am going to be taking a little bit of a um, a little bit of a backseat with my YouTube channel. Um, this is not a break, okay? I'm not taking a break from YouTube. I am just uh, reducing the amount of videos I post because, as many of you may know. I am in my last year of university and this year is going to be a very busy year because I'm going to graduate, I'm going to move, get a job, blah, 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 be an adult. So um, I am going to have to maybe put the YouTube um, jazz on a bit of a back burner. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to post videos. I am still going to post videos, just not one a week, maybe like once every two weeks or something like that, but not no videos, just less videos. Uh, so I hope you guys understand. Um, I also just really wanted to thank you guys and your support because without your support I wouldn't be able to do this and just put YouTube on the back burner. You guys have supported me to a point where I am a, I can afford to, you know, chill out a little bit on the YouTube front. Um, I'm still gonna carry on, you know, with my online shop and everything. Um, I'm also doing this thing this year where every month I pick a different charity and I give a part of the profits from my shop to that set charity. So, yeah, I think feel like this year is a lot more. I want to focus a lot more on um, like my university, but also giving back because you guys have supported me to a point where I can afford to do that, and it's a very very good place to be. So thank you so much. Thank you for understanding. There will still be videos, by the way. Just want you to know. Um, I am currently filming a studio vlog. I love filming studio vlogs. Those, those will keep coming at you because they're a lot easier for me to, to make. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to give you guys a little... Show you guys what we've done today um, in this sketchbook. We um, drew some good boys and uh, very happy with this little spread. Thank you guys for sending in your assumptions, by the way. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since I put this up on my Instagram, but I finally got around to them. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video, whenever that may be. Bye-bye. <laughs>